Hi, everyone. Excuse my delayed absence. August is a crazy month in the SCT world and super busy. Okay, but anyways, here today I'm going to talk about one of the most missed question, um, questions on the August SAT exam. So let's just jump into it. Perhaps this will look familiar. And, um, you know, these are very similar questions that would have maybe appeared on your exam if you took it in August. Okay, so example here, a parallel electric circuit contains four resistors with resistances of P ohms, Q ohms, S ohms, and 13 ohms. The given equation relates to the resistance in ohms of the circuit to the resistances of the four individual resistors it contains. Which equation correctly expresses R in terms of PQS and 13? Okay, so I mean, first thing that you want to do is find the common denominator, um, which would be common denominator on the right hand side of the equation, which would just be 13 PQS. And then if I want to get that. So for example, this one, I would multiply everything by 13 QS, both the top and the bottom. We multiply by 13 QS. Here with Q, it would be 13 PS, also here, 13 PS. And then here I would multiply by 13 um, PQ, also this by 13 PQ. And finally, here would just be multiplied by PQ. P, Q, and S, and also this by P, Q, and S. So then, then when I do that, this will convert P, Q, S. Well, that doesn't look great, but it would be P, Q, S. Okay, so then when you do that, you would have one over R is equal to, so let me do this here. I'll put it in black. Um, so one over R, is equal to 13 QS plus 13 PS plus 13 PQ plus PQS all over the common denominator, which would be 13 PQS. Okay, so that's what this becomes when we find the common denominator. And then what I'm gonna do is simply multiply each side by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply this by 13 PQS over like 13 QS plus 13 PS plus 13 PQ um, plus PQS. And remember what I do to one side, I must do to another side. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. So be 13 um, oops, PQS. And then here, same thing, like 13 QS plus 13 PS plus 13 PQ plus PQS. Okay. But anyways, in doing so, I'll see that this would cancel, this would cancel. And then what I have is 13 PQS is equal to, so 13 QS plus 13 PS plus 13 times P times Q plus PQS. And that's all equal, oops, sorry, I forgot. We still have the one over R here. And this is all equal to one because when I multiply by the reciprocal, it always gives me one. And then remember, I want everything in terms of R. So final step is that I'll just multiply um, like this equation here, each side by R. And then we see that this would just cancel and I would be left with the final equation, which I'll put in green, PQ, 13 PQS divided by 13 QS plus 13 PS plus 13 PQ plus PQS is all equal to R. And that matches correct choice B. So, um, B would be the answer. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so we also have this similar question here, which says a parallel circuit contains four resistors with resistances of P ohms, Q ohms, R ohms, and S ohms. The following equation relates to the resistances PQR and S. Okay, so 
quick scan of the answer choices, I can see that 40 does not appear in any of them. So what I'm first going to do is multiply each side of the equation by 1 over 40. And so since there's signs in between the sub subtraction signs, um, it's going to distribute to all of these. And just to show, the 40s would cancel, this cancels, this would cancel, and this would cancel. So this would read 1 over p is equal to 1 over q um, minus 1 over r minus 1 over s. And then I want everything in terms of q, so I'm going to do that. And I put 1 over q is equal to 1 over p plus 1 over r plus 1 over s. Okay, next, I want to find the common denominator. So I can combine these more efficiently. So common denominator will be PRS. So that means I'm going to multiply this one each by R and S. I'm going to multiply BR by PS, both the numerator and the denominator. And also the S I'm going to multiply by PR. In doing so, this will give me 1 over Q is equal to RS plus PS plus P over R all over our common denominator PRS. And then just like the previous problem, I'm going to multiply each side by the reciprocal. So this would be RS plus PS plus P over R. And do what you do to one side, you should do to the other. So I'm going to also multiply by the reciprocal to the left-hand side of the equation. And then you'll see this will cancel. So when you multiply by the reciprocal, it always gives you one. So over here, I would have, well, PRS over RS plus PS plus PR by one over Q. And that's all equal to one. And then the final step, since I want everything in terms of Q, I'm now going to multiply everything by Q, each side of the equation by Q. So let's do that. Multiply this by Q. And multiply this by Q. So my final equation should be Q is equal to P over, well, PRS um, over P, well, PR plus PS plus RS. And this seems to directly match with correct answer choice A. And that would be the answer. But you see that um, these were similar questions to what appeared in August. And the main concept was to multiply by the reciprocal in order to solve. OK, so I just wanted to go over this question. I had some feedback about this from the August SAT. Um, as I become more familiar and aware, of the other questions on the exam, I will post them to the channel. And I will be posting also some English ones soon, so like, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. See you in the next video.